Hello, and welcome to Focus on Design with Hunter Industries. Trees may very well be one of the most difficult plants to irrigate over their lifespan, starting with the root zone of just a couple square feet and maturing into a, a root zone of a, of a few hundred square feet. The targeted irrigation zone changes dramatically as trees mature, knowing that trees are by far the most valuable asset to any green infrastructure project. It's our responsibility as irrigation designers to ensure that tree irrigation is designed in such a way to support trees over their entire lifespan. I'm Bryce Cornell, and joining us today is Jessica Centeno, design build licensed contractor and ISA certified arborist. Jessica, thanks for being here today with us. Uh, I know that you work with trees on nearly a, a daily basis and, and really understand their value. Will you share some of those ecosystem services trees provide our communities? Thank you, Bryce. Uh, trees are like nothing else on earth. They provide so much value to our everyday lives and environments, such as habitat for wildlife, reduction of heat island effect, carbon sequestration, phytoremediation, and stormwater management, improvement of air quality, increase in the values of properties and businesses, I did my thesis on trees and the community, and there's so much research, including that trees in certain areas help reduce crime and domestic violence. These benefits are amazing, but many times these trees fail due to inappropriate care and irrigation methods. Okay, so let's expand on that. What irrigation methods do you see as being inappropriate? It's not so much any individual methods. It's more of a lack of modification in the irrigation application as trees mature. For example, bubblers at the base of trees are great for newly planted trees. That type of irrigation mimics how trees are irrigated in nurseries. But as we know, trees are living, growing things and roots expand, the roots stabilize the tree, find nutrients and find water sources. If we continue to irrigate growing trees right at the initial root ball, trees can girdle which can cause the tree to fail as they cannot support and stabilize the tree. Right, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, so in your opinion, what can we do to ensure the success of a tree through better irrigation practices? Well, let's start off by selecting the right tree for the scenario at hand, right tree, right place. As far as irrigation goes, we need to think about how we can best irrigate the tree as it matures. We mentioned bubblers being good solution for newly planted trees, but we need to accommodate for the growing root zone and maturing trees, such as creating a system with both subsurface and surface solutions, design a system that can be modified for expansion, always irrigate trees separately from surrounding plants. This means adding another zone and valve. And more importantly, sympathize with people who will be managing the trees and give them the tools to succeed. Those are some great design practices and ideas you have there. I, I especially like the idea of sympathizing with future landscape managers. Something else to think about, with weather severity becoming a greater reality, we need to ensure that trees, our landscape's most valuable assets, are managed appropriately, especially since they help with heat island effects carbon sequestration and stormwater management, which is so important in our urban environments. A way to accomplish this is providing supplemental irrigation to support tree health. Mature trees often outgrow irrigation systems and find their own water so sources, but during times of drought, these sources are unavailable. It's our responsibility to consider and design in supplemental irrigation systems for mature trees such as expanding drip line rings around the canopy edge, extra valves for future expansion of irrigation systems, extra quick couplers to manually irrigate trees. Yeah, those are some really good ideas, Jessica. Thank you. I really appreciate you sharing your experience and your knowledge with us here today. And regarding trees, we often design irrigation systems in a vacuum, providing water for newly planted trees. But as designers, we are at the forefront of ensuring a tree's health and success as being that provider of ecosystem services to our communities. So we need to do a few things. We need to design a system with built-in flexibility. 
We must understand the mature root zone of trees and where that irrigation will be needed, not only at the initial planting, but years from planting. And like Jessica said, we really need to sympathize with future landscape managers of our projects to give them the tools to succeed to ensure those healthy trees. Thank you again as we focus on design with Hunter Industries.